There's one thing in Texas Texans take pride in no matter where you're from in the Lone Star State, and that's Texas Barbecue. And you're watching the only show dedicated to Texas Barbecue and the Pitmasters that represent Texas. You're watching Barbecue Texas TV Show. This week we take you to Turn and Burn down in Pleasanton, Texas, where the payout was $100,000 cash. Well, at the Turn and Burn, we ran into Pitmaster Ernest with Burnt Beat Company. Hey, it's Big Tech Sam, and I'm coming live from Pleasanton, Texas. That's right. That's right. At the Turn and Burn, and I'm with a very special guest today, Ernest Cervantes. How you doing today, sir? Pretty good, Big Tex. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, man, I'm doing great, man. Wonderful weather out here, huh? Oh, man, I tell you what, I just got back from Virginia where it was snowing. Nothing better getting off the plane and seeing a good old Texas sun out here. 75, 80 degrees, I can live with this. I know, that's right. And we, we're blessed with a cool breeze and some little overcast. Yeah, you know, clouds, they always say 30%, that means clouds. So out here in South Texas, that's a blessing. So the barbecue gods are with us this weekend. I, I know that's right, buddy. Hey, and um, I also um, know that you've done a, a, quite a few TV shows too, right? Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I've been blessed and very humble to be on a couple of shows. Been on the Food Network on Chop Grill Masters and the Chop Grill Master Champions, and I won it all. And also been on that show uh, called Barbecue Pit Masters. So, be one of the first from Texas to be on the show, other than Johnny Trigg, was an honor itself. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. And um, another thing for Los Latinos. You really held it down for us, so I really appreciate that, um, you know, the way you held your competition down in these TV shows. Oh, man, I appreciate You know, it, you know, growing up in Texas, you, you don't really think of the Hispanics and the Latinos uh, barbecuing. And I, I just want to be, a, you know, kind of not necessarily the founding father. There's always been great barbecue pit uh, masters that are Mexicanos, but to be having that exposure and say, hey, look, not only can you relate to me, but you're from South Texas, too. And to see me on the show and say, hey, I know that guy. And, and it's an honor and it's a humbling experience to get a lot of younger generation say, hey, we can do this too, man. And uh, we're, we're coming out here in force. And uh, there's a lot of us out here that are really putting our name in the sand. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because, you know, um, a lot of Mexicans, you know, we, we, we cook machitos, fajitas, oh, tripas, yeah. you know. So we can get down on the grill too. Yeah, yeah we throw it down. If it's, uh, I say, uh, the, long, uh, the, the dumber the animal, the longer it takes to cook, but us Mexicans get it down, man. I know, that's right, and we refry everything. Yeah, that's right, and in grease and lard, <laughs> and tortillas. <laughs> that's right, that's the way it goes down. Uh, yeah. an another thing I, w I want y'all to um, take a look at is his um, his vault cooker here. So can you give us some information on the vault cooker here? Yeah, this is a, this pit is a pure one of, one of a kind, what they call murdered out pit. Uh, everything's black on black with black flames up. Uh, the great guys from Pit Maker helped me make this. Uh, Beric Falcone, uh, you know, this is his pure art. It took us three months to just come up with the scheme of things. Another two months to print it out. Everything's customized. There's not a pol uh, volt like this in America. From the customization, uh, this, you know, pretty much symbolizes what my family's all about. Our heritage growing up in South Texas with the purple sage and the cactus and the rattlesnakes and the free spirit of the Spanish eagle, as well as the Aztec war and all those Mexicanos, man. And that gives us that driving force to do good. And if, if you get a chance, look at my custom smokestack. It's the day of the dead up there, too. So, you know, it was a lot of work and uh, hard labor to get this bad boy going. But, you know, some people got hot rods and lowriders. Got myself a big rig. <laughs> That's great, man. That's great. I love what you did here with your pit. Thank you. And um, once again, I congratulate you on uh, on all your success. You know, it's Pleasanton, man. Oh yeah, I'll yeah. I'll a regular T-shirt other than this. Oh well, well actually, actually, um, you know, I'll switch out of this. I got, I got a, a wife beater I wear. There you go. But uh, you know, I'm a big guy, so you know, you know, you know, you know the way the wife beaters are with big guys, right? Our chest hang out yeah, the side, exactly. so you it's know, air conditioned, brother. it's all good. <laughs> well, check it out, man. I'm live right here. Pleasanton, Texas. We're at the Turn and Burn, and I'm with Ernest Cervantes right here, one of the leading Latino cookers in the cook-off world. All right? So once again, you're watching Barbecue Texas TV show. Keep it hot and keep it locked. Be your barbecue, brother. Be your barbecue. Now at Turn and Burn, we ran into several great pit masters, and one of them was Robert with s, &S Cook. Hey, it's Big Tech Sam, and we're coming live from Pleasanton, Texas, the Turn and Burn, the number one cook-off of the year right here with all the big dogs. And I got Robert Sierra here, pit master Robert Sierra. How you doing today, Robert? I'm doing great. How you doing today, Big Tex? Oh, man, I'm doing great. It's, it's, um, it's real great to finally get the chance to meet you besides Facebook. Likewise, likewise. Yeah, I always <laughs> hear about you. So, yeah, we're here in the live, Pleasanton, Texas, Turn and Burn. So, yeah. 
here to do something, I guess. Orale, man. And I want to tell you, man, um, you're really holding it down for the Latino cooks out there, too, man. I want to really congratulate you on that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So, yeah, we're just doing what we do and see how it goes, you know, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, what, what are some of the other competitions that you get into around Texas? Uh, we do, uh, we've done a few KCBS cook-offs and then a few like Texas Gulf Coast and Lone Star and IBCA. So just wherever we go where there's good cook-off, good money. So yeah. you know, we were in Mercedes a couple of weeks ago and we were in San Marcos at the National Barbecue Convention two weeks ago. So yeah, wherever there's good money, that's where we'll be. I don't want to put you on the spot, but we want to personally invite you out to the Big Tex Barbecue Fest in July 10th, 11th, and 12th. So. Oh, that'll work. That'll work. Uh, hey, what, what are some of the things that you can tell some of the younger guys that are out there, you know, that are just getting into the um, competition barbecue? And, you know, what, what are some of the tips, you know, or um, some advice you would give some of these guys? Well, first of all, it's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work. You know, a lot of people think this is easy, and, and it, you know, to an extent, it's easy. You can, Main thing is you got to love what you're doing, you got to have the passion for it because if you don't have the passion, you're in the wrong business. But, um, you know, since so hard work and you do your homework, you know, you do good and just, you know, put your heart into it, you know. Yeah, that's what it's all about too, you know. Um, you know, barbecuing is one thing, but barbecuing has a lot more to do than just the food, you know. It has a lot more to do with um, meeting new people, meeting friends, you know, relationships that grow on for years and years. So. Um, you know, there's a whole lot more to it than just the food. That's right, that's right. Another thing, you know, like the new people get in and they've been told all their time, oh, you got some good food, your barbecue's good. And it probably is, don't get me wrong. When you get to a competition, it's a whole different monster. It's a, it's a competition barbecue is a little bit different than backyard. Plus, your family's going to tell you it's good because they want to keep eating. So, you know, they want you to keep cooking for them and they want to eat. They're like, it's good, it's good. But uh, reality is when you get competition barbecue, it's a little bit different than backyard. It's still good barbecue, don't get me wrong, but you know, that's what hurt a lot of the new guys. They're like, man, my stuff's good. I ain't cooking here no more because yeah. I'm not doing something right, but it's just a little bit different. So that's the big advice they got to, you know. You just basically got to learn the standard of competition cooking, right. right? You know, it's just like NASCAR, nothing to talk about it, you know, it changes. So competition, same thing, it's, it's a little backyard with a little bit extra. You know, it's one bite barbecue versus barbecue you want to eat all night, you know, so. Yeah, definitely. Um, how long have you been cooking? Uh, we've been cooking since like uh, 05. Uh, that's how long we've had this pit built. In the beginning, we started a little bit, not all the time, but yeah. as every year's gone by, we've increased more cooking and more cooking, so yeah, just cooking now we can now. Sounds good, man. Well, you're doing a hell of a job out there, man. I want to congratulate you on, on all your success out there in, in the cooking circuit, you know, and you're out here at Turn and Burn. Of course, you know, we got a lot of top cookers out here, so you're definitely in the in the high league out here, you know. So I want to congratulate you on your success in the cooking also. Well, I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that. And I will say, uh, come July, you see us in Houston at the Big Tex Cook-Off, and I hope we'll see you there too. We look forward to seeing you out at the Big Tex in July. And once again, thank you for your time and, you know, um, your hospitality. You bet. Thank you. If I can give a shout-out to my sponsors right quick, I'd like to thank All Mates Collision and San Marcos, where we meet the nicest people by accident. Compart Family Farms, the Black Angus of Pork, we got uh, Junior's Rubs, we got Collins Creeks, uh, I know I'm forgetting a few, Crown Trophy Austin. I'd like to thank all them, without them we can't do it. Oh, and also Capital City Drywall is our newest sponsor today, so appreciate all them. Appreciate Big Tex for stopping by. Appreciate you too, Robert, man. You better, so we still get that red dinner now that you talked about. All right, all right. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, you're watching Barbecue Texas TV show, keep it hot and keep it live. What's up guys, it's your friend Rebecca Garza inviting everyone to the Big Tex Barbecue Festival in Pasadena Convention Center July the 10th to the 12th. Make sure you give us your like on Facebook. See you there. How long do you let a brisket sit before cutting it? Well, stay tuned for the answer. Hey, it's Big Tech Sam here from Barbecue Texas TV. I got some good news for y'all. For the grand champion of the Big Tex Barbecue Fest, we're gonna be giving away this barbecue pit right here on its own trailer with its own rack, smoker, grill, firebox, everything contained right here. And it's donated by Pits by JJ and my boy Jose right here. We wanna thank Jose for donating this pit to the Big Tex Barbecue Fest. And for the grand champion winner, get ready, because you're gonna have a hell of a pit. Come on down over here, and we're gonna show you what the pit looks like. First of all, we got our smoker box here. We got our thermometer gauge on there, two handles, 
We got our trays to come out. You got your trays down here. And then we got our grills here. You can put your briskets up in here. You got your trays to pull in and out on here also. You got your bar, your table. And then back here. You know you gotta make some fajitas, you know? So you got your fajita plate grill right here. Fire box with your liner. Ashtray. So you got everything right here, everything you need to cook some awesome barbecue. And let me tell you, sign up to Big Tech's Barbecue Fest because we're already filling up spots. And now you know the grand champion is not gonna get a trophy. He's gonna get a barbecue bin by Pits by JJ. And you're watching the Barbecue Texas TV show. The Big Tex Barbecue Fest Cook-Off. Cause everything's bigger in Texas. July 10th, 11th, and the 12th. Get ready, Pasadena, Texas, and surrounding areas. It's the Barbecue Fest Cook-Off. People are going crazy. The Big Tex Barbecue Fest Cook-Off. You know they say there's never been a show like Barbecue Texas TV. Bringing you all the cooking teams, all the cook-offs, and all the festivities you catch us every Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. Barbecue Texas TV Show. Barbecue Texas TV Show.